the use, eyes, and we's of the reality of life. This video is the result of a very dear friend and an associate by the questioning of the we's that we use in our videos. Let's take note. The word is questioning, not criticizing. As with the honest and wise, criticism does not fit in our Lexus. It is in the same manner that disagree does not fit, as disagree is an aggressive concept. The honest and wise chooses to view it as one or both are just ignorant, or unaware of all the facts that brings the truth into view. Then many times their communication is just lacking. True communication is in spirit, as concept is transparent. It is all sort of like electricity. There is a positive and a negative, or we could say a pressure and a vacuum. If there is no negative or vacuum, it does not flow well. It is like this saying, it is foolish to try to pound sand down a rat hole. However, this saying is of much more understanding. The wise became wise by their honesty, care for truth, and the desire to understand others. If the facts confuse us, perhaps we have too much junk in our computer. I speak of that contraption that sits atop it all. For great communication, it requires us to lower ourselves down to the same level of the other. If we are to enlighten any, we must understand their thoughts, and realizing that all aggression is met by aggression. Peace in spirit invites peace, and aggression in spirit does not invite aggression, it demands aggression. When that ghost of reality speaks, it speaks to all of us that are human. It speaks especially loud and clear to all of those who prepare these videos. All humanity is in the same boat. If it capsizes, who is it that will escape the tragedy? There are none of us on this great, wonderful planet that can be independent. We are just a very tiny particle of a great creation. It is only our overflowing ego that views ourselves special. Somewhere above that mass of those other partials that keep us afloat. Now, for that tiny word I. However, for us that are self-centered and overflowing with ego, it is huge and the most important of all words in our Lexus. We have perhaps heard that expression, when we point our finger at our neighbor, we have the most fingers pointed back at ourselves. I have known some that measure people's personality by the abundance of those big eyes that they embed in their conversation. We might think that I am very important, and we are. Our importance is all to do with our care of others and concern for the truth and the living of the truth we know. However, let us not forget that if it were not for others, we would not even exist on this earth. That is not religion, it is just reality. We could say science, as true science is just a concept of understanding of our Father, the great Creator's creation. Perhaps the only time we detest that tiny word I is when I goofed, I was the one, I was mistaken, I was not honest, or I have been that problem parent. It was not my child's fault, I was ignorant of my child's needs. Yes, this takes us to another area of life. Am I truly the problem parent? When that famous saying, do unto others as we would have done unto ourselves," was created, it was not meant for just the adults and men. It includes children and wives also. Men, the results of lowering ourselves to the level of our child or wife is miraculous. It can quench the raging furnace of life's problems. It will eliminate the detonation of those zillion tons of TNT of this frustrated life, and it will transport our whole family into a peaceful realms 
that we could only dream of. Let us not wait till death for that paradise in the sky. Let us create that paradise here and now. It is within our own power with honesty and the use of truth, that miraculous power of creation. Let us be honest with ourselves for just a moment. If we cannot create that peaceful condition here on this wonderful planet Earth, what would make us think that we would not make that paradise in the sky a hell, like on Earth, if we just camped there overnight? Now, as for that great and wonderful word, we, it is the truest description of humanity. We is where all of the power rests in the truth. There is nothing that can be of any success in its singular form. Even our physical body is a mass of intricate parts and functions. It is too numerous for man to understand yet in its fullness. The human has learned to band together for any great success. However, it is strong individuals that create that powerful mass. It leaves no room for slothfulness and carelessness by any individual segment of the mass. This is all science. This is not religion. It is the true reality of life, as true science is that concept of understanding our Father, the great Creator's fabulous creation. It is that that will please our Father, the great Creator. It is not the myth of hope and fruitless faith. It is a concept of understanding. It is not law and tradition, and a matter of endless ceremonies. We do not need to hope for success. It is in our hands for the doing it by the truth. Our Father, the great Creator, took much time in preparing this wonderful planet for us humans. The preparation was very neatly engineered. The fossil fuel, the seasons, the time erosions to make soil, the massive vegetation for the nutriments, the atmosphere, the proper distance from the sun, and the sun itself. Then, most important, the sophisticated robot for the residence of our spirit, which is the truly us. These are just a tiny few segments of the preparation for us humans, let us be grateful and not waste our opportunity to be a part of the finishing of our Father, the Great Creator's fabulous creation. Then, the use. Perhaps it falls on someone else you are to blame. Let's forget that we stuff. Yes, I was there, but I could not point out your mistake. Honesty is forbidden in this society. It makes people so unhappy. So. You are the only one to blame. As the saying goes, Who left the door open? In reality, it is all that did not close it, not just the last one through it. However, none actually goes through the door. They go through the doorway or opening. It is all through the concept of understanding. It is not all in words. English is as a strange animal. We will just leave it to the mother sheep for that final decision, the use. It spells differently, but sounds the same. English can be a maze of understanding. Perhaps it is what makes English so interesting and great. Some may think that those who never cease to search are unstable in mind, immature, or dissatisfied with life. However, for those who have it all, that is all you will ever have. When we cease to search, our true life has vanished. We just exist. This video is the result of team effort to enlighten the whole world of the destiny we face, and especially the youth, and the problems they face. Those of us who are addicted to our present society are missing true life. We just exist. The voice in this video is that of Jay Powell, 
a true dedicated friend of yours and mine. Until next time, sweet dreams, truth will solve all our problems before we create them. And ignore or reject the truth, problems multiply all by themselves. Have a great and meaningful life, just whispers of the ghost of reality.